Hey guys, it's your girl Latina Queen of here back with another video and I know it's been a minute since the last time I posted and longer than you know my set amount of time but we're back again we're definitely gonna keep trying to post more a little bit more quickly uh, it's just been a little bit difficult lately and for me to actually like sit down and record and like create but I'm gonna definitely try to post more and with the title of this video, as you can tell, we're doing an eyeshadow look today. And with this look, I'm at, it's actually one of my usually recently go-to looks. And um, without any further ado, let's just dive into this video. <laughs> So the name of this eyeshadow that I've been calling it is my Sunset Sherbert look and honestly I've been obsessed with this look and it's like sunsetty, it's like creamy, it's really cute and it's uh, something like it stands out like it's really cute something that you're gonna be noticed with and for this go-to eyeshadow that I've like done um, I usually go for the palettes like from my Juvia's palettes, when, uh, the Zulu palette by Juvia's. Like, they have such amazing products on their website. Like, I honestly recommend that you guys go and check them out. I'll probably have a link in the description down below to their website. Okay. So, for the first color that we're going to do, we're going to go for the pink. This pink right down here. And we're going to put it all over, like, the upper of the eye. So for the first color that we're gonna do, we're gonna go for the pink that's right here, and we're gonna cover the entire lid with it. Just all this right here. And we're gonna use a semi-fluffy brush um, out of the four that I usually use. We're gonna use a pretty smaller fluffy brush just to put, put all of that into that like upper eyelid. To the to place that into the like the full lid region. So now that we have that placed where we want it, we're now going to go in with the orange in the same palette and we're going to go like in the river around the color that we have placed with another a little bit more fluffier brush to blend that all together. So the reason this eyeshadow is my, one of my go-to looks it's, is because it's super easy, really simple, and it's only a few colors, and being like only three, and it's only out of one palette, this, the Juvia's palette. So the next color we're going to go into uh, with to is the yellow, that's right by the orange, and like again into the room of where the orange is, and we're going to blend that out really like nice and vibrant, and then continue from there. That look wasn't that hard, honestly. And then, like, um, the thing is that is kind of difficult, I guess, would be to get the highlighter the exact same on both sides, which is very hard. But you know, we manage. You honestly don't need that many brushes when you're doing this kind of look. This look is like 
just very subtle like orange and bright colors. I call it my sunset sherbet look because then it kind of makes me think of like ice cream and I just want ice cream all the time or eat. <laughs> so now that we're practically done with most of the eyeshadow, we're gonna go in with an now eyeliner. And I'm using my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner to um, create my a wing. We'll just get right into it. Okay, that's the eyeliner. Now that I have the eyeliner done, I'm actually going to go underneath and on the lower lash line put kind of some of the same colors that I have on top underneath and mimic that on top mirror it like from the top to the bottom. Going in with the pink and then steadily orange and then the yellow. I'm gonna do it all with like this little wider fluffy brush so I can get really close and still have it like a nice blend. But I don't want it like all over the place like um, how we have it on top. All right, so that's about pretty much it for the bottom. How we want it and it's like such a cute subtle look um why would i say so <laughs> and with this look honestly you could kind of wear it pretty much around anywhere um with very like vibrant clothes like um, just out and about if you're gonna go out somewhere and you still want to have like that pop of color in your eyes here you are Something pretty easy, something you have to do, just like by finding like the light pinks, little orange and yellow, like pr pretty pigmented yellows, and you're pretty good to go. Now that we have most of these colors, well, pretty much the look done, uh, I'm actually gonna go in and highlight. And what I like to do is highlight the inner corner of my eye, and the highlight I'm gonna use, I'm using two different highlights. I'm gonna use my loose powder, uh, I'm going to use my loose powder highlight, from Juvia's again uh, the Nubian by Juvia's it's a loose highlight and it's one of the like really really prettiest like highlights I've seen in a while and like with it being loose like it's super pigmented and I'm just gonna get a little bit on the end of my middle finger and just place that on the inner corner of my eye Let me do a little bit of my magic here. Ta-da! <laughs> There's the other eye. Oh wait, don't let me forget. One more thing. Okay, bam! Lashes. <laughs> okay, so now we have the full look done. Eyelashes on, mascara, and highlights mostly done. Okay, so what I haven't done yet is really the highlights on my face that I love to do. And so the highlight that I'm going to go in with with the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3, again by Juvia's, like this is a full Juvia's look. And um, it's the pressed powder, by the way. And just go into the highlighted areas of your face that you, you really want to like go into. And this is just such a nice, soft, like subtle, like highlight. It can be a little bit more like um stand outy if you yeah. but you can also pack it on to make it a little bit more like bam in your face like, look at that. such a good highlight and oh again with juvia's palettes like you get such good quality in your products with whatever you buy and if you 
really, really affordable, honestly. Okay, everyone, so this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that's gone into this. It's not very difficult. Like, this is one of the easiest eyeshadows I could say that I've done. And it's one of my favorites, definitely. I am still, like, it's one of my go-tos, of course, still. And definitely is going to continue being one of my go-tos when I'm, like, in a rush and really needing, like, a good vibrant pow on my face. Um... And for the most part, for posting, definitely I am going to try to, again, with two to three weeks, maybe four, just depending on, like, my, the, like, whatever is going on at the time. Sometimes it's hard for me to really sit down and post or sit down and record because I, uh, for the most part, I get really anxious when I have to sit down and record and make content for you guys because... I, I, um, struggle with this, like, whole, just, I need to get hyped up enough to actually sit down and record, and what I do is, like, I'm always hyping myself up just enough to, like, get myself to sit down and record, like, before this, I had to hype myself up so much, I kept messing up on the intro, calling it a music video instead of a makeup video, and I was like, no, this is a makeup video, like, now I'm saying it right, but before I was saying, like, this is a music video. Welcome back to it, guys. And it's just like, I am not singing. I'm creating art on my face. And I was, I have to be like, yes, girl, you can do this, girl. You can do it. And then I keep messing up. And then it just gets me into like a weird, like, ugh, if I keep messing up, I'm just going to quit. But no, like, I'm going to continue forcing myself to actually, like, get in there, be more involved, show my makeup off more. And... And like, so you guys are able to like uh, know when I'm going to be posting, I'm going to like post um, things more on my content and on my Instagram and my Snapchat and also going to try to start using Twitter a little bit more. Still a little like iffy there, but it's there now and I'll have um, links in the description to each thing and to all the makeup I'll have a link to their, to um, in my description to like their page their website and you can just browse around for whatever you guys want because it's such a great like makeup brand it's an indie brand and as you can tell like their colors are super vibrant really nice and just like mm. yeah sorry distracted <laughs> i distracted easily <laughs> and like these colors and all the makeup is just super so not so sorry it's super vibrant, soft, and like, you. there have many products in there that you could just go check out. And what I'm hoping for to get next is foundation from them, because their foundation line, oh my god, like, hunty, it is beautiful, and I want it so bad. I just have to find my, my color, my foundation, and I'm gonna get it. Uh, I just gotta hype myself up more for the next video, and it's gonna be like, yes, honey, yes. Alright, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if anything, I'll probably have like a blooper from like the video, <laughs> from like my intro, uh, before I did this one, and like, I hope you guys enjoy everything, um, if you do, please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys want to see next, um, like, subscribe, definitely, and become a part of this little fam of mine. A Latina fam, I guess. Yeah. Hope to see you guys again soon, and I love you. Bye! Hello, my queenas. It's a girl. Hi, guys. It's a girl, Latina Queena, here with another music album. And I'm so glad you guys returned. Blah, 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 blah.